almost no time left in the match. Stewart. Here it comes now to Linda. We're well into injury time. 40 seconds, in fact. As it comes away to Stewart again. Stewart throws the dummy. Now Ricky Stewart on his own. He's up to the halfway. He's waiting for Eddie Halsen. He's got support. Eddie Halsen with him. They can go to the Up in the game. Because he just scores. Oh, what a try. What a try. What a run from Stewart. And what a try. Maniga. Ricky Stewart, only about five minutes ago, David, was feeling like the worst man in the world after he threw that intercept pass. He's sitting on top of the world now. What a magnificent try he instigated. He got out in the open, didn't panic, and the job Melvin Inger did, as we'll see it on the replay, Mel did a little bit of work. He did a, a little bit of roller skating here. He did a bit of shoulder work, making sure that no one was going to bump him out of the way. And look at Stewart on the Just Jeans replay. It was almost Melbourne revisited. Down to the quarter line as he got the nigger in the clear. He bumped off the would-be people in his road and scores one of the most famous tries in Test match football. There's Ricky Min Stewart. Here's Mr. Meninga's shoulder work that came in. He did plenty of running there, Mel, but his shoulder work was the, the important part that got him into the open. We'll see it again. Ricky Stewart taking stride after stride. Here. There's Mel's shoulder work to get him into the clear. He did very well there. Stewart timed his purse superbly. Pass superbly, sorry. And Big Mel, there's no finer sight when he gets out in the open. Well, you've scored a couple of tries on the last tour as captain. That one must really give Mel probably the biggest thrill of his career. What a day for Mel Meninga. The series stays alive until Ellen Road, because surely the siren will go after Meninga has the shot at goal. Ricky Stewart, what an incredible run. Captain Mel Meninga scores the try. Australia lead 14-10.